Press pause and answer the question. This is a really tricky one because you might think there are 12 square inches in a square foot, but there's not. Because if we take a square inch and we just go make 12 of them, then we have one foot by an inch. So we have to take 12 rows of those, so we wind up with 144 square inches. So when you're converting square inches to square feet or back the other way, you're dealing not with 12s, but you're dealing with 144. And I think the better way to do this is to turn everything into your final units first before figuring out the area. That's what we'll do here. So we're given that we have a sketch, and that sketch has an area of 35 inches squared. Now there are lots of ways to do this, but one of the most common, and frankly one of the easiest, is just come up with a sketch that happens to have an area of 35 square inches. And it's a nice clean one if we say that it's 7 inches on this side and 5 inches on that side. And this muralist wants to have a final mural with side lengths that are 10 times as large as the original. So 10 times bigger than the sketch is what's going to be on the side of the building, right? So we're going to go ahead and take this dimension of 7 inches and turn it to 70 inches. And we'll take this dimension of 5 inches and turn it to 50 inches. Now again, you might be tempted to take 70 times 50, which you could do. But just if you do that, then when you're turning it to square feet, you have to divide by 144. I think a better way to do it is just to make sure before you make any areas, you convert it to feet first. So we're taking 70 inches and we're turning it into feet, and we get 5.8 feet when we take 70 and divide by 12. And we're taking 50 inches and we're dividing it by 12, and we get 4.2 feet. So we have new dimensions instead of 5 and 7, we have 4.2 feet and 5.8 feet. And when we run those out, 4.2 feet times 5.8 feet, we get something pretty close. 24 square feet. 